One of the most important aspects of interpreting the apical four-chamber view, which is what we see here, is accurately identifying the left ventricle from the right ventricle. Though it seems like it would be easy, certain patient pathologies may make this more challenging or obscure the left versus right differentiation. So there's several different ways which we can identify the left ventricle, which is what we see right here, from the right ventricle, which is what we see right here. And these are, number one, size. The left ventricle tends to be larger than the right ventricle. And this is accounting to number two, which is shape. The left ventricle tends to have an elongated bullet shape appearance, whereas the right ventricle tends to originate from the side of the left ventricle and has more of an attached appearance. The third identifying feature is what we call the moderator band, which is this tissue that we see right here, and that occurs only in the right ventricle. But there is one final feature, which happens to be my favorite, that identifies the left ventricle from the right ventricle, and that is this structure right down here. And this is the descending thoracic aorta. This feature always pairs up with the left side of the heart and is associated with the left atrium and left ventricle.